the EU country Slovenia is about to change power. The right-wing Prime Minister Janez Janja and his SDS party lost the parliamentary elections on Sunday more clearly than expected. The clear winner was the new liberal freedom movement, the GS, led by political career changer and energy manager Robert uh, Golob. As announced before the election, he is aiming for a center-left coalition. After counting almost all votes cast, the GS came to 35% and 41 of the 90 parliamentary mandates, as the state electoral commission announced on Monday night. The SDS won 24% of the voters and won 27 seats. Only three other parties, the conservative New Slovenia, the NSI with 7% and 8 seats, the Social Democrats, the SD with 7% and 7 seats, and the left party Levica with 4% and 5 seats also cleared the 4% hurdle, which is decisive for entry into Parliament. One seat in Parliament is reserved for representatives of the Italian and Hungarian minorities. Voter turnout was 68%, that's higher than at any other election in Slovenia for 22 years. The election was perceived as a directional choice. Janza's government stood for xenophobia, nationalist rhetoric and aggressiveness against social minorities. Critics accused them of restricting media freedom and damaging the independent judiciary. Janza repeatedly attacked political opponents and journalists rudely via the short message service Twitter. In his election program, or the Manifesto, Golob focused on protecting uh, constitutional institutions and strengthening trust in them. The document entitled We Deserve It also contained commitments to the modern welfare state, the energy transition and an open and free society. People really trust that we are the only ones capable of fulfilling the hope for change, Golob said on election night. The winner of the election studied electrical engineering and entered the electricity trade with his own startup. Since 2006 and until recently, he was the general director of the state-owned electricity trading company GenEye. At the end of last year, Janza arranged for his contract not to be extended. Golob then took over a small green party and transformed it into the now victorious freedom movement. Janza is considered a veteran of the political scene in Slovenia. A communist at a young age, he was a dissident in the last years of socialism. During the short Slovenian War of Independence in the summer of 1991, he was Minister of Defense. From 2004 to 2008 and from 2012 to 2013, he was Prime Minister. A corruption affair brought him to prison for a short time in 2014. Although his challenger Golob got into politics from the start, he's not inexperienced in politics. From 1999 to 2000, he was state secretary in the Ministry of Economy. In 2011, one of the vice chairman of the party of the mayor of Ljubljana, Zoran Jankovic. For several years, he was also head of the Komberg Lok Association of Municipalities in Western Slovenia. In terms of foreign policy, Janza had clearly positioned itself against the Russian war of aggression in Ukraine. Along with his Polish and Czech counterparts, Mateusz Morawiecki and uh, Peter Fiala, he was among the first group of Western politicians to visit Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in besieged Kiev. At the same time, Janja was in close contact with Hungary's right-wing head of government Viktor Orban, who has good relations with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Orban's oligarchs have been funding the SDS party media for years, while in turn pursuing their business interests in Slovenia, with Janja's backing. In domestic politics, Janja appeared to be following Orban's strategy of transforming himself into, or itself, into an illiberal state. With the fall of Janza and the lack of success of right-wing presidential candidate Marine Le Pen in France, Orban is more isolated than ever in European politics. With Janza in Slovenia, Boyko Borisov in Bulgaria and Andrzej Babis in the Czech Republic, three illiberal allies of Hungary were voted out of office within a year. Green MEP Daniel Freund tweeted on Monday because of this, the open script doesn't work outside of Hungary. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.